Note 3.5 Sonnet is just amazing. Check out this cool app that I created with it. So this is an app that I created to mock some data. But the cool thing about this is that look at the design. I mean, this looks really modern, right? And you can see I have this randomized button here. Every time I click on it, you can see the random data is getting generated every time. And you can see this rows option here. I can add it to any number that I want. So 15 rows, you can see 15 different rows of random data. I can also go 150. You can see now I have 150 random rows of data. I can go crazy and say 14,000. Uh, yeah, it's going to slow it down, but I am going to get 14,000 random rows of data eventually, which is really cool. So I think I broke it. So let me just refresh the page. And yeah, you can see everything works. We have some image avatars here and we get the preview of those images as well we have some hex colors and you can see it's visualizing the color as well some uh, i see some issue with the countries uh, the name and the flag doesn't match uh, i think that has to do with how uh, the random data is getting generated and when i check the code for this app it's actually using faker so it's separately generating the country names and then separately generating the country flags every time it randomizes the data so yeah not an issue we can fix that but yeah look at that uh, we have the search bar as well we can search for any column here you can see i typed tus and it gives me this dustin hickel yeah so the search works as well and I also asked it to create this little cog button here. When I click on it, look at this thing. Now you have uh, options to choose any data point that you want. So for example, uh, yeah, we also have the search thing as well. So I don't need to find it. So let's say usernames. So we have the internet usernames. We can also add the user agent. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we also have some Git related. So let's put some uh, git commit messages let's do some git commit shs and then we can close this and you can see the table changed and we have the random data for those columns as well that we choose so we have the git sha we have the git commit message let's read one of them synthesize cross platform sensor connect virtual pixels synthesize neural protocol so yeah, everything is working perfectly. Yeah. I also asked it that I want it to be in the full screen. So you can see when I click on it, I'm in the full screen. I can also press escape and yeah, it works. And it also has this uh, night mode as well. We can toggle between night and the light mode. So yeah, that works as well. It doesn't exactly work as I expected it to work, but yeah, that would do. And then we have the download option as well so for example if we generate 50 rows of data we can then click on this download button and the file will get downloaded with all the data in it so everything that you see here it's all generated by cloud i just told it what to do and it created this app for me which is absolutely amazing i forgot to tell you there's this small button here when i click on it i get this option to filter so if i filter mr now it's going to filter the data based on this column only. So I have the column based filtering enabled in this table as well. And I also told it to uh, have the functionality where I can rearrange the columns. So you can see I can move the columns around and it's just going to work. Uh, so yeah, all in all, this is really good kind of application, uh, uh, usable, I would say. So how I did it actually is that uh, I actually saw a post about an app like this that was created on Twitter. So I took a screenshot of that and I thought, let's see if it can generate the same app for me. But of, of course, I wanted some other changes in the app as well. So you can see the, uh, the prompt. I haven't put any effort in creating this prompt. So I basically uh, copied some stuff from the tweet and took some screenshots and gave it to Claude and it started first by telling me what we need and the plan and then I told it let's just create this app and it went to work but uh, it was using material UI I didn't want to use material UI I told it to use the tailwind and you can see in the next output it uses it it uses the tailwind and uses the TypeScript and yeah it uses faker to generate the data and here you can see I got an error. So I just took the error and gave it to Claude. 
and it was some error with the react table somehow it was not able to create tables in react i don't know what the issue was but if i had uh, given it more tries then yeah probably it would have done that as well but i told it to ditch react tables and use something else and when it did that it worked then i was making some small changes here and there telling it that this button should be here this thing should be there and yeah this is the final result in front of you so yeah everything works and in the end, I was pretty happy with it. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. And if you also have tried the Cloud Sonnet 3.5, let me know what you created with it. I also created some more apps with it. Uh, I just wanted to show you what it can do. So I just showed you one of it. This video, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.